What's going on everybody? Happy Friday. Um, today I'm going to be redesigning the Papa John's logo and I've got the history right here, the logo history, uh, pulled up here in Illustrator. And um, I do have to say that out of all of these, my favorite one has always been this one right here, the 1995 to 2019 uh, version right here. Um, I pretty much hate all of the other ones. Um, but this, this one right here, I don't mind too much, but there's something about this one and also seeing it on the boxes. Um, you know, like also full disclosure, I'm a little bit biased. Papa John's was my favorite pizza all growing up. Um, it's, uh, it's something that, you know, I, I, I like to get, uh, I like to get occasionally, but you know, mostly we, we do little Caesars, um, especially if we have like, um, uh, pizza night each week and everything. So we do uh, pizza and movie night. But, um, anyway, I tell you one thing that I do hate though, is I cannot stand this one, uh, right here. It, it's so like, it does not feel, it doesn't feel like the rest of them at all. It, at least the 2018 one, it has that green in there and it has something that's a little bit different, but it looks like, you know, they just took away the, they just took away this border right here. And then they've got, you know, like they removed the pizza, but there's something about this. I just, I just hate it. I just, I hate it so much. So, um, I don't think I'm going to do um, any any uh, looking today on uh, Adobe fonts. I'm just going to use, uh, I think I'm just going to use something that I already have. And um, I think that, you know, obviously I'm going to try to not let my bias influence me for, uh, for this one right here, the, the 95 one. Um, but I definitely want to do something that, you know, that's familiar. You know, I definitely want to do something that's familiar. And really, I'm just going to try to play around uh with this um, i'm not gonna i'm gonna try something different i'm gonna i'm not gonna set a timer today um i'm just gonna go uh, i'm just gonna go until i'm happy with one particular concept so let's kind of look through here and just kind of see uh if, if there's anything that really jumps out at me uh with the fonts that i have it's a little bit more difficult when you're you know when you're looking through a font list like this um i guess what i could do is i could filter uh down a, I'd like to try something with serifs if it's something that's you know similar to uh, like similar to this um, to this font right here um, but maybe I can just kind of tab down and just see see if anything jumps out at me but I think what's missing fr from the new one like there's you know th there's just branding elements that's missing it's just such plain uh, typography and also it's not it's not very bold like you know it, and also it just looks like it all just kind of runs together um, so I just want to I just want to help him out I want to do something different you know that's that's definitely familiar um, to the original branding but I think that since uh, like since you know like right now we've got a lot of serif um, typography uh, happening and that is and that is a trendy thing and I, obviously I know that it's not it's not good to introduce trends into logo designs but I think that if you did it the right way if you chose the right font then I think it would be just fine uh, so definitely not Trajan Pro <laughs> um, okay so as far as everything that I've gone through here I think that I might like let's see if I can do this right here okay and it, you know, it's definitely more of a modern uh, style. Like we've got that contrast between um, between thick and thin. I just wanted to see what it looked like um, a little bit bigger, but I don't think that that's the one. So um, I don't mind something like that. <laughs> Here we go. We could go completely 80s with it. Uh, and you could do something like uh, Bookman right here, but I'd like it to be, well, yeah, they don't have like a real... They don't have a super bold uh, version of it. So it looks like I might actually have to go with um, something from Adobe Fonts, unless I, unless there's something that, that I just missed before in this particular list. And let me just kind of see. This works a little bit better, but the, the, um, the letters are just a little bit too clunky for me. <clears throat> so um, Nocturne is nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, what happened there? Okay. Let's see. What about... Uh, there was one that I saw in here. Um, yeah, Nocturne and then Oh No Fat Face. Maybe that one. That J is interesting. Let's see if there's an alternate glyph. There's not. Okay. <clears throat> and 
It's interesting, but that M, there's something about that M that I'm not a big fan of. So let's try uh, Nocturne and just kind of see what we can do with this. Really, I just want to, I just want to experiment and see what can be done uh, with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is set um, my kerning to optical. And then I'd like to see if we can just kind of make a nice cohesive unit. I'd like for those two points at the bottom of that A and the P to just touch each other. So I think that's good. And then we'll just re uh, replicate the same um, kerning here, which is negative 140 between that, uh, between those, uh, that P and that A there. Okay. And then we'll go down to here, the J and the O. I'm actually fairly happy with it, but I think I might bring it in just a little bit more. And then we'll do the same thing uh, here. Should be a, a, a good amount. And then we'll also make those two serifs touch. I'm looking at that H right there. You see that, that vertical line? I wonder if that's by design. I don't know, because I've never actually used this font before. So we'll just kind of see what we can what we can do about that. We can always just draw a, a shape uh, there and just kind of fill it in. All right, so I'm happy with the kerning here. And let me go up here to the paragraph and we'll just kind of do something like that. I don't mind it being that close, but I think I might push it down just a little bit more. That's another thing too I don't like um, about the, the new one is that um, it does, doesn't have an apostrophe on the Johns, so I'm not sure what's what's going on with that. <clears throat> I'd like to see what it looks like. It doesn't necessarily have to be centered, but I think I actually like it better centered. Okay, so now that I've got the kerning the way that I want it, I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to create outlines, and let's go ahead and unite and make sure that everything is taken care of here. So we've got this little thing going on. I don't know what's I don't know what the deal is with that. But it's almost like it's just kind of pushed out a little bit too far and I don't want it to be. So let's just bring it over there right there. And I think yeah, we'll do the same thing here. So we'll just grab this and just push him over. There we go. And normally, you know, I don't mind uh when um when, you know, when a font has a little bit more, you know, like some little design elements that are like that, but for some reason, like, you know, just for the for, for the brand of Papa John's, it just doesn't seem to fit. I guess you could make the argument that it's kind of like a slice, you know, a pizza slice. <laughs> Sorry, dad jokes. All right. So now let's go ahead and unite. And I'm going to do something kind of counterintuitive. I'm going to ungroup after I united. Um, but I'm going to grab the top part and then the bottom part and just make sure that they are aligned with each other Horizontally, okay, so they just need to be uh, aligned a little bit more. So now we can do this as one unit And as far as um, as far as the shape goes like I like the idea of Having of like kind of framing the logo. So I might Just kind of like at this point. I'm really just experimenting and I just want to see what could work so let's do this. I'm gonna. Uh, so I've done something kind of similar to this in the past, where I just kind of draw a border on the outside, like the outermost part of the letters themselves. Let me. There we go. So let's go all the way up to the top here, and you'll kind of see where I'm going with this in just a second. All the way on the outer edge. And we'll include this as well. And let's move, let's align this one with that. There we go. And let's go ahead and close this one up. Good. So now we just switch over to a stroke. So as you can see, we've got like a little frame going on here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a path and offset path. Push it out to about, I think that's good right there, 0.375, uh, expand it, expand the fill and the stroke, and then ungroup. And then there we go, we've got our little frame right there. And I just want to see, really, I just want to see what it looks like. So let's, um, oh, you know what, I actually did not mean to, there was something here that I didn't, that I didn't mean to do. So let me, yeah, here we go. I just want to delete that one. There we go. 
Okay, I wanted to keep that as a stroke so that I could change it to a uh, uh, like so I could change the roundness of it, and we can all and we can even do it you know even more. We can do something like that. So, but I want to make sure that it's uniform all the way around first, and this is going a little bit lower than I'd like it to go, but it's mainly because of that J right there. So maybe I'll just optically just kind of bring that up there. And then we can just kind of uh, color sample this green right here. And let's unlock this. All right, and then we'll just, I actually like that nice vibrant red uh, right there, but I wonder if, um, you know, I actually kind of like this darker red too. <laughs> So, oh, I know what I, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. So, we can do like a little thing right here. Let's do a fill of this. And actually, before before I before I do that, before I do that, let's go ahead and round the corners and let's make them consistent with each other. I, I definitely want them to be more rounded than this. So, okay, so that's the max that we can do. And I think that 0.375 would be pretty good. The only thing is I'm not, I'm not too sold on the fact that it's, uh, that it's narrower on the top than it is on the bottom, but I at least want to try, um, I at least want to try what I was going to do a second ago, um, with this uh, same concept. So I think I'm going to make the outline of this. Let's try making it red and see what happens. And then we can just put pizza on the inside of that. And as far as the sizing goes, let's bring it down to maybe 40, 40 points, something like that. And let's get our, let's get our kerning uh, happening here. And since they're touching in other points where it's kind of like that, we'll do the same thing here. And then these, well, yeah, we could make that touch. Okay. All right. And let's create outlines. I'm happy with the size. So now we'll just adjust this box um, to, the, to the size of the actual uh, text itself. Okay. And I'll just kind of go... This, uh, this black and red right here, it actually kind of makes it look like um, uh, Pizza Hut a little bit. So I think that I would, um, let's see, let me, let's try a variation of it and just kind of set it over here. And the background of, of the original one right there, the one that I actually do like is green. Okay, I don't, I don't hate that. But what I'd like to try is something like this. What if we, and this is kind of outside of the box, but what if we switch the stroke on this to red and you can always try this, background green. Hmm, interesting. I actually think that that is pretty interesting. I don't know what do you think and then you could also do something like this I don't it doesn't look like yeah it, so it, look, it looks like they've never done this what if they did um, the inside of it red and then we copy the stroke over actually yeah I need to just swap those there we go it's a much faster way to do that and then we can swap those as well although it is kind of I don't know, that seems a little bit strong, so I wonder if we would just take this down to, like, black or something, like the black, red, and white. That's interesting. Although, let's see, out of all of these, um, hmm, it's kind of hard to say, but I think that I like, like, just in terms of thinking about branding, marketing, and packaging, and things like that, I think that probably this one would work the best, the one in the top left. So I think that I will just kind of set this over here and maybe put these over here just in case I want to revisit anything. But I think that 
I think that's going to be my winner is this one right here. And let's see. There's something that's telling me that I want to just round that. There we go. Yeah, I, I like that much better. I like that a lot better. Okay. And one thing I do want to try is something that we don't see a whole lot of uh, these days, but I do want to try it is to do just like a little uh, shadow here. And if we're going to do that, I'd like it to um, to be a little bit more of a perspective shadow. So we'll just grab both of these and then just do a blend. And set it to about 100 steps there. Expand this and then unite. And this, of course, always takes a little uh, a little second to, to do, but it, most of the time it's not that bad, especially if you keep it at 100 or less. So um, I don't I don't mind that. I think what I might do is I might shift um, the um, shift shift the shadow just a touch. Doesn't have to be that much. Maybe something like that. It's a little better, although we do have a little gap here, so may not be the best thing um, in the world. And um, I don't mind it actually. I, I, I don't mind it, but I also don't mind it without the shadow. I, like so, I, so I think that I, I think that just in terms of branding, and this is just something that I came up with quickly. It's really just kind of doing it without doing any kind of planning. Uh, but if I were to refine and refine and refine, I, I might go in a different direction um, than this. But um, but just what I was able to just kind of quickly throw together, you know, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't have the curve. Um, at the top, but that's that's totally fine actually because it seemed like they, they just wanted to go away from the entire concept and just and leave everything behind except for that little uh, that little arc and that curvature. So um, so I'm totally fine with just completely removing that entire idea and going with like it's kind of you know like swinging the pendulum back the other way, but um, I don't know I, I I you know I mean it's not it's not my favorite thing that I've ever done, but I do like it. It's um. It is, you know, it's nothing if not simple. So um, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe just to kind of thicken up the strokes a little bit. Of course, I could, you know, I could tweak and adjust all day. But really, the, you know, the whole idea, the whole concept behind this video is that I just wanted to quickly put together something for Papa John's. And I'm actually pretty happy with this. So let me know what you think of this down in the comments. And also, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to hit like and subscribe down below. And also, click the bell for notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, let me know in the comments also which logo I should do next. And thanks, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.